because some figures have come in. Uh, they're the UK figures. And as of 9am on the 7th of April, 266,694 tests have uh, concluded with 14,006 tests on the 6th of April. 213,181 people have been tested, of which 55... 1,242 were positive, and as of 5pm on the 6th of April, of those hospitalised in the UK who tested positive, 6,159 have uh, sadly died. Let's uh, uh, join Ashish Joshi in the Sky Newsroom. So, Ashish, just talk us through these figures. So the figures, the, the rise, the cumulative total rise of 6,159, the one you can see at the, uh, the last column, the bottom figure there, that's up from yesterday, which was 5,373. Do you know, every day we, we talk about the, the tally between England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, and we explain that there is a lag in, in the way that the figures are collected and compiled. So somebody sitting at home who might have been following today's figures, they would have realised that in England today we had 758 deaths reported, Wales is 19 big jump in Scotland, which I'll explain in just a minute, of 74 deaths, and Northern Ireland, three more to the total there. The reason why that column of figures might not necessarily add up to the 6159 is just because of the, the, the time frame and the way these figures are collected across these four nations and then presented as a cumulative total by the Department of Health and Social Care. So that figure there, the 6159, that would mean that the, the, the rate that we're following here the, um, the doubling rate is still at about just around the 3.5. Some people might look at that and say it's optimistic. That shows that that curve is flattening. But then other people uh, would say it's too early to say we are approaching the peak. That's predicted to be around four or five days from now. We don't know. I mean, it, it might not be four or five days, but certainly that's what the, the data is suggesting, that once we hit the peak, we will know whether the social distancing and the lockdown has had an impact. The argument from the government is that it is still too early to start softening the lockdown, but certainly they will be keeping an eye on these figures and hoping that the, uh, the, the, um, the doubling rates, the number of people who are confirmed dead, does start to increase, So it's, it, and which it has been doing if you follow the trend over the last couple of weeks.